there's something here after EP. Family talk. Ooh. Oh, is there more episodes? It's late in the afternoon. Sashi should be home from school soon. Sashi's wounds seem to have healed quite a bit lately, and she doesn't seem to be getting any more. I'm sure it's because Mamoru Khan has been protecting her, and I've been trying harder than ever to have conversation with her while she's home. However, she rarely talks about school or her studies when we're together. She mainly talks about Mamoru Kun and her new friends. Having said that, I'm usually the one who initiates conversation. She still doesn't try to talk with, with me on her own. Perhaps it's because she thinks I am disinterested, since I often reply only with simple nods or other kinds of smir small affirmations. I cannot let this continue. I am Sashi's guardian. I must be there to support her when she needs me to. I have not yet told her what's really on my mind, but it is something I must do. Besides, there are many other reasons why we need to be able to walk, talk to each other. I thought it through last night and decided that today is the, is the day that I will talk to Sashi about this. To that end, I have been waiting by the doorway for her to come home for nearly an hour. I was thinking about how to approach her while I waited, but I still don't have a solution. It's childish of me to be so apprehensive, but even so, I have to talk to her. If I do not, I'm sure that our relationship will never change. I'm still mulling this over when Sashi and Mamoru Kun finally come into view. I have no more time to decide. The most important things are that I tell her how I feel and that I hear how she feels. I'm sure it will be a step in the right direction, even if it's, even if it's only a small step. Good morning, Mamoru Kun. Welcome home, Sashi. Hello, Mayumi san. Hello, Mayumi. Is something wrong? I just want to speak with you a moment, Sashi. I I should get going. See you tomorrow, Sashi. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Mamoru-kun, being the considering young man that he is, makes his exit. So, um, what did you want to talk about? You see, what I really want to talk about is you. Well, you, you'll probably think it's silly, but I've been thinking about it for quite some time. Will you hear me out? Yes, of course. I wonder if she has a an idea of what I'm about to say just by the serious expression I'm wearing. I talk. I am talking to her now, just as I planned. I must have confidence. Thank you. Oh, of course. The truth is that I'd like you to stop calling me Aunt Mayumi. Okay, what? I know I'm not as young as I once was, but I like to think that I'm still not that old. But, but of course, when you call me your aunt, it makes me feel very old. I'm still only in my 20s, so could you at least call me Mayumi-san instead? Uh, okay, um, Mayumi-san. Thank you. Do you have anything you want to say to me? Anything you want to ask me? Me? Uh, is that all you wanted to say, aunt? Uh, uh, Mayumi-san? I did, but don't worry about that. There's nothing you want to say. There must be something you want me to hear. Oh, um, well, it's kind of hard to think of anything when you put me on the spot like that. I see. Well, if you do have anything you ever want to tell me, please don't be afraid to. Okay. Finally, that was the first time I ever told her how I truly feel. The first time I've ever been able to say what I've wanted to tell her for so long. I did everything I needed to. Overall, it was not a bad performance, I'd say. Well, I suppose we should go inside then. Right. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Miami son smile. All right. <laughs> and uh, here's another one. Girls talk. Ah, uh, Kami Senpai, I've never seen you looking so depressed. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just, I can't believe Ryushan is actually changing schools. Sarokawa-san? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bring her up in front of you. No, it's okay. Were you friends with Sarokawa-san, Akemi-senpai? I wouldn't go that far. We just went to the same middle school and I fought her this one time. You fought her? Wait, didn't you have another fight with her the day you went chasing after her? I remember you got really hurt. How are you feeling now? Oh, don't underestimate me. I pretty much got away without a scratch. <laughs> Tomori-senpai told me you did get hurt though. 
Well, I mean physically, it was a huge shock to learn she actually left, you know. I really wanted to talk her out of leaving, but yeah, we ended up fighting in the end. I was a little surprised when I heard that. I didn't think you would be the kind to get in a fight. Well, I'm almost perfect, but I do have some flaws, Sasha. You really are amazing when you're serious though, Akemi-senpai. I've heard you're a surprisingly good athlete, and you get good grades too. Sasha, surprisingly, when I'm serious? What's that supposed to mean? Huh? No, no, I mean, I admire you. I didn't mean anything weird by that. I was just repeating what Mamoru-senpai told me, um... Sasha, you really mean it? That makes your big sis so happy. You're much sweeter than those other two. Anything I can do to repay you for what you've done. Sasha, I don't want you I don't, don't want to hear you say anything like that. You don't owe me anything at all. Well, I hear you get good grades too, but you're not a very athletic person, right? Yeah, I'm not really cut out for physical activities. Uh, don't say that. Oh, I know. Why don't you join some club activities? How about the ballet club? I can help you get started. Huh? Um, sorry, I... Uh... No, well, I can't force you to do anything after all. Like I said, physical things are... I mean, I, I don't... Uh... You don't... If I join a club, I won't be able to go home with Mamoru Senpai after school anymore. Oh my, what a lovey-dovey couple you two are. You really do love each other, don't you? Yes, Mamoru Senpai is so nice to me. You're the only one Maku is nice to. He doesn't treat me even half as well as he treats you. But you two seem to have a great relationship. Or at least I think you do. To be honest, I feel a little jealous sometimes. Jealous? Are you a masochist, Sasha? So you want Maku to bully you then? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh, <laughs> oh! Now I'm the one bullying Sasha. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? I'm only joking. It's just cute that you're so embarrassed about the fact that you and Makun have such a sweet relationship. Oh! And no matter how much I met on your relationship, you always seem to be so happy. Usually you never deny, deny what I'm saying, even if it's totally wrong. You never get flustered or embarrassed no matter how much I try, and so I always feel like I'm losing to you somehow. I, I didn't mean to make you feel like that. Well, I guess it's just the reality of you two being a couple. Anyway, you guys aren't having trouble with your relationship, right? Trouble? Not really, well... I mean... Oh, are, are you sure? It, it's nothing big, but... Well, what is it? What is it? Come on, tell your big sis! Senpai hasn't been as affectionate lately. Is that all? Come on, there must be something else. What? But are you two always clinging to each other? But, but we've only really been holding hands. What? Wait a minute. A high school couple who's always holding hands seems like a good couple to me. What more do you want? Maybe if he uh, rubbed my hand or my forehead more or he uh, slipped me out. No, no, I just have to <laughs> That's the kind of affection you mean? Yes, like when he used to touch my scars. I still have some, but... Huh? What do you mean? I mean, um... He used to, you know, rub the scars on my hand and forehead, and he doesn't do it anymore. Uh, sorry, I just don't really get it. Well, I mean, touching my scars is... <laughs> if she's confused, I'm confused. Let's go to the boys' talk. <clears throat> ah, I don't hear you sigh very often. Do your wounds still hurt? Somewhat. What a disaster, though. I should have gone with you. I really didn't think Akemi was going to start a fight when she chased after Sadakawa. No, Sashi needed you. It was right for you to stay with her. Well, I say that, but trying to stop them all on my own didn't exactly end well. Yeah, and you've got the scrapes and bruises to prove it. 
no kidding. Though Akemi walked away without a single mark. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Though Akemi walked away without a single mark and Sadakawa didn't have any major injuries either, right? Why are you the only one who got so banged up? Well, when I tried to hold one of them back, the other would take the opportunity to try and attack even though I was in the way. Not that I could have stopped them any other way, of course. Oh, is that how it happened? Did I ever tell you about how they fought in middle school? It basically turned out the same way, although my injuries were much lighter back then compared to now. It was the same situation though, right? Why were your injuries worse this time? It's just because they're both bigger and older now, and both of them are physically fit. <laughs> they can throw some mean punches. Seems like it. Well, I guess you filled Sashi's role since you're the one covered in bruises now. Yeah, right. Sadakawa really is going to change schools though. I guess we won't have to worry about anyone getting beat up anymore. Hmm, probably. Why just probably? Akemi, you know? Last time this happened, she gave up on Sadakawa right away, but I'm not sure it's going to be that simple this time. She'll probably keep trying to change Sadakawa right up until she actually does transfer, so it's pretty much inevitable that something's going to happen between then and now. Seriously? That's a problem. Why are you grinning like that? You're going to have to help me deal with it when it finally does happen. Sorry, Anna. Yeah, I definitely will help, but the way you were talking just now, it sounded like you guys were having a lover spat. Yeah, well, someone's got to be there to look out for her. Man, she's really got a hold on you, you know what? You know that? Probably, but I'm not as bad as you are with Sashi-chan. Yeah, I guess not. The four of us are a good match though, aren't we? You two do look good, look like a couple to me after all. I told you to stop saying that. Anyway, there might still be another beating in my future, but at least your beloved Sashi-chan doesn't have to worry anymore. You only said that once before, and don't try to change the subject. Just keep out of it, that's all I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, alright. Sorry. Anyway, um, Sashi, you know, I mean, her scars are pretty much healed by now. They're going to disappear, right? Yeah, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, it is, um, but you know... What are you trying to say? Nothing. Just, um, what? If you want advice, just spit it out already. It's really nothing important, and it's going to sound weird to say it out loud. I know exactly what he's going to say. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone, no matter how weird it is. Alright. It's just going to sound like I'm trying to find an excuse to grope Sashi before, <laughs> before her scars completely heal. I want to ask her if she'll let me touch them. What? You want to touch her scars? <laughs> no, she wants me to touch them, so I was going to ask if she'd let me. And you want to use that as an excuse to fill her up? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I, I really don't get it. Are you saying you're more interested in touching the scars than in touching her? No, well, um, I mean, well, look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was weird. Alright, time for a couple talk. This is my first time being in someone else's room. I feel like I'm intruding. Nah, it's fine. Just think of it as your own room. Relax. But it's Tomoroya Senpai's room. Well, yeah, but both Akemi and I hang out here all the time. You mentioned that, yes. Right. Well, the more you come here, the more comfortable you start to feel. We can all go to my. We can all go to my house later too. I'll feel even more nervous to be intruding in your room. There's nothing to be nervous about. Would you feel more comfortable in Akemi's room? Actually, to be honest, I've never been in there. We've only really gathered at yours or Tomoroya Senpai's house, haven't we? 
Well, a girl's room would be kind of... I mean, Tomo's known Akemi for a long time, and he's probably been in there, but, uh... Come to think of it, he's been gone a while now, hasn't he? I thought he just went to meet Akemi Senpai. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they'll show up doing some slapstick comedy act or something. He'll probably end up with more bruises that way, though. She got dragged... He, <laughs> he got dragged into Sarakawa-san and Akemi Senpai's fight, right? He's more beat up than I am now. Hey, your wounds are mostly healed now, right? I guess I don't have to do anything weird like touch them anymore, right? <laughs> don't worry, I'm really clumsy so I'm sure I'll fall down and make some new ones at some point. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're telling me not to worry about that. Are you um really that clumsy? Yes, I am. Actually, not all my wounds are healed yet, you know. Oh, really? Are you going to touch them? But that... Isn't that kind of weird? Why do you say that? Why? Well, no, it's fine. Just when I talked to Tomo about it, he gave me a really weird look. Actually, I talked to Akemi Senpai about it too. She didn't really get it either. You talked to Akemi? And you talked to Matomoroyo Senpai. Hmm. Hmm. We probably shouldn't tell anyone else. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. So, do you want to touch them? <laughs> huh? Um, uh, are you sure you want me to touch it? <laughs> yes. But the bruises on your face are gone. All the obvious ones have healed, haven't they? Oh, yes, but you don't normally see under my skirt. There's um, still a pretty big one on my calf. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, un under your, your skirt? Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry it took so long. I went to meet our resident idiot, Akemi, and, uh, oh. Ooh. Um, excuse me. <laughs> huh? Why'd you stop, Tomo? Aren't they in there? <laughs> no, no one's in here. No, Tomo, wait. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong idea. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> that was all oh, very weird and hilarious. I loved it. Caught me by surprise. I don't know what to say. Man, this game, this game, this story has brought out so much emotion from me. Uh, I love it, man. I really like it. And I'm telling you, I'm not one into like uh, you know getting into. Um, visual novels but this game has really engaged me i really have enjoyed the characters i've become invested in the characters and that's super important uh oh there's something else here history uh oh my goodness posted april oh is this uh can we see more uh, i don't want to read all of this now but oh these are the old pictures oh my goodness these are pictures, uh, old, old pictures of what Sashi used to look like. I'm glad he changed up a little bit. She's much cuter now, but this is, oh, that's cute. Oh, so cute, man. I want to see more of this character. She's so awesome. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll let you explore all of this stuff for yourself. It's, oh my God, I, I, no, we got to look at this. This is cute. Oh, it's so cute. She's in the hospital. Oh man, actually maybe I'll make a, uh, uh, <laughs> this is when I started working on the game, Th that's pretty cool man, um, so anyway guys, uh, really appreciate you watching and keeping up with this series, it's been really fun to do, I don't know if I'm going to do any more visual novels, if you want to see more, please let me know, uh, but I really wanted to do th this one because the character of, of Sashi, just looking at the picture of her made me really want to uh check this out for myself and uh pretty much that's it it feels bittersweet to be ending uh, this run but it's over now so guys again thanks for watching and until next time i'll see you soon